Welcome to the tutorial video for compiling the Anura 3D source code. The goal of this video is to show the user how to compile the code provided by the download link in the email received after registering for a download. To accomplish this task, we will download and install prerequisites, which are the Anura 3D source code, Visual Studio Community, the One API Toolkits, which include the Intel Fortran compiler, then we will open the source code in Visual Studio and compile or build the code. The outcome of this process is a compiled executable called Anura 3D EXE, which will be used to run your numerical model. You can follow along in section 2.2 of the Anura 3D tutorial manual included with the source code you've downloaded. To download the code, visit www.anura3d.com. This will land you on the Anura 3D GitHub portal. On this page, you'll find information about the Anura 3D MPM research community. Along the right side menu, you'll see information about the community, the Anura 3D software, documentation, upcoming news and events, get in touch, our publications, and thank yous. We're interested in downloading the code, so we'll navigate to this button, Download. Pressing the download link puts us in the code part of the, or of the GitHub page. The source code is located in the SRC folder, and to download the code, press the green code button, go down to the download zip option, and select download zip. This will download the Anura 3D source code which will be saved to the location of your web browser downloads. One additional item of note is this video was recorded for users of the Anura 3D code. If you're interested in developing Anura 3D code, please fork the repository and you'll be able to contribute that way. Once the code is downloaded and unzipped, you can navigate to the Visual Studio Download Center under uh, Older Downloads, go to the 2017 version, and download Visual Studio 2017. There are additional installation instructions in the tutorial manual, and also follow the Visual Studio recommended installation instructions. One key point of installing Visual Studio is to select desktop development with C++ in the installation steps. It is also important to fully install Visual Studio before installing the Intel Fortran compiler or one API based toolkit. Once Visual Studio is installed, you'll next need to install the Intel Fortran compiler distributed in the One API Base Toolkit and the One API HPC Toolkit. The download links are included in the tutorial manual and in the links below this video. The download button for the One API Base Toolkit is here and the, for the HPC toolkit is here. Follow the installation instructions from the respective websites for the One API toolkits. You can check that the installation of both Visual Studio and the Intel Fortran compiler were successful and linked by selecting, by opening Visual Studio and selecting Create New Project from the Start page. If the installation was successful, you will see Intel Visual Fortran listed in the left menu along with empty project and main pro program code, both listed as Intel Visual Fortran. Next we will open the Anura 3D source code solution. You can do this by selecting File, Open, 
project solution, navigate to the location where you saved the zip file downloaded from the Anura, Anura website, going to the VS folder and selecting Anura 3D Solution. If the code was open successfully, you should see a screen like this showing this Anura 3D Solution in the right hand menu along with the files from the source code. At this point you're ready to build the code. The first step would be to select the release version of the code from this menu, then going to build and build solution. Now Visual Studio will go through and build the code according to the compiling settings. If this is going to take a couple minutes so at this point I'd like to show you a little bit about the code and we'll go over to the kernel where the bulk of the code and subroutines are called. In the kernel subroutine you will see kernel initial initialization which are initializations for calculations mesh installation initialization which initializes the mesh material point initialization which sets the initial configuration of material points that you set up in GID then there's the load phase loop which controls with the each load phase uh, controlled um, which controls loading and other settings then there's the time step or iteration loop which is where each time step of the calculation is run finally results are written to the different output files and then the kernel is shut down I'll allow a couple minutes and fast forward to when the build is finished the code is finished building and the first time you build the code you'll see a build message down at the bottom of Visual Studio in the output that says build for succeeded. If you've built the code previously you may see a certain number of files succeeded and a certain number up to date. As long as you have succeeded and up to date files your code compiled correctly. The build time can take up to five minutes, so don't worry if it takes a little while. Now that we've finished building, we'll go find the executable. The executable is located back in the source code, source code file that you downloaded and unzipped in the Visual Studio folder, or BS folder, in the internal release folder navigate to the Anura 3D EXE and that's the executable that you'll use and transfer into your folder where you run your numerical model. We'll finish with a short summary of what we've done in this video. The first step was getting the prerequisites for the code which are the Anura 3D source code, the Visual Studio IDE, the one API Fortran compiler. We then opened the Anura 3D solution in Visual Studio, compiled the code, and located the executable. Thank you for your time.